Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As it is so close to Halloween now, I thought I would do some more pumpkins. So I wanted to make my house a little bit more Halloween, a little bit more autumnal. So I got some polystyrene and some fake pumpkins. You might remember last year's video where I painted some pumpkins, but I wanted to paint some more this year and I wanted to kind of paint them more in my colour palette for my house. This is so quick, so simple, so easy to do. If you guys are on midterm next week, maybe some of your kids are going to run midterm next week. Perfect little crafting to do if the weather is crap, because in Ireland it does be. One or two of the pumpkins I picked up actually from deals, they were like 75 cents for polystyrene pumpkins. Great thing about these is there's no kind of wastage, you can just store them. I pulled mine out of storage from last year and I just dotted them around the house. You can get so creative with this. I just went for kind of basic block colours with a bit of glitter and a few different shades, but I've seen some deadly pumpkins on Pinterest. You can do like geometric, you can decoupage them, you can go to town with your pumpkins, but I just went for kind of ones that would blend in with my living room. So let's get into the video and I will show you how I painted my pumpkins. This year I was able to pick up most of my pumpkins off eBay, they were so cheap. I also picked up the orange ones from Deals and they were 75 cent each. I'm just using some tester pot size pots of chalk paint and I use some cream shades and green shades, colours that would kind of match my home but you can get so creative and pick some colours that you want. I also have some gold paint and some gold glitter as well which you'll see at the end of the video. Using a paintbrush I am just stippling on some chalk paint to my pumpkins. Chalk paint tends to dry quick so it's perfect for this craft and um, you also don't have to prime it as well but as these are decorative pieces I don't really waste my primer on them. I gave the pumpkins one coat of paint except for the orange ones because I was getting a little bit of bleed through with the orange colour. So one coat of paint and two on the orange ones and I let them fully dry then before applying any glitter or further decorating them. And of course, Blondie, she had to get into the video and she was supervising me while I was pumpkin painting. I used some decoupage glue. You don't have to use this, you can use PVA glue. I just had this in my kit and I used this glue to apply some glitter. I find this glue just dries that bit quicker than PVA. PVA you kind of have to leave overnight. So I find that this dries quicker, but again, use the PVA, it's so much cheaper. I simply applied a layer of glue and then I sprinkled the glitter on top. Glitter can be messy, I am still hoovering up glitter from this DIY, but it is fun. I applied a layer of the glue over the glitter. This is so that it keeps it in place and it won't flake off. So I just applied a thin layer of glue and I let that to dry so that way you won't have any glitter flaking off on you. I also used some gold, I won't call it paint, I'm not too sure what you would call it. So it's kind of like a highlighter, um, but obviously for crafts. So I just used it to bring out some of the details and some of the pumpkins and kind of just bring them to life. The gold paint gives a little bit of definition to the pumpkin and kind of ties it in with my decor then as well and it stops them from being too plain.
So now for the fun part, which is styling up my house. So I just changed a few things around, just to get some pumpkins out, changed some flowers as well. Just wanted to make it a little bit more autumnal, but as you can see, it's totally in keeping with my style. It's not too um, scary. I don't have any scary decorations up. I was trying to get Blondie to dress up for this video and I got her a unicorn headband but she has decided to play with it instead. She was not dressing up. So those were my pumpkins. Also huge thank you for the feedback and love on my leaf DIY. Who knew air drying clay could be so fun. <laughs> I also loved seeing your guys work on Instagram. A couple of you guys tagged me in your leaf DIYs so thanks for tagging me in them. So you don't have to have spooky Halloween decor. My neighbour actually had something hanging from the tree. Now I do like the scary decor just not on my house because it actually genuinely scares me. I was driving past and I saw something hanging from the tree and I nearly crashed because I was like what is hanging from the tree then I remembered it's Halloween so I favoured the cutesy decor than the scary decor I don't want no skulls with like blood and stuff in my house so that is it for this week guys I hope you have a fun Halloween of course I'll be back next week with the video but if you enjoyed this give this a thumbs up cheeky thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you all in next week's video bye everyone